guys welcome my name is Mina I'm known online as knitting expat and uh, yeah welcome to this video so I have the immense pleasure today to introduce you to fluff to stuff this year so fluff to stuff is going to be an almost year-long event that's being run by myself and my two co-hosts Grace and Mars you'll hear more about them a little bit later and a little bit a little bit more about me as well I just wanted to start with a general introduction and also to explain the name because for those of you who've been around for a while you'll know that in 2019 yeah, in 2019, Grace and myself co-hosted a make-along, spin and make-along, and we called it the SMAL, the spin and make-along. So, S-M-A-L is what we called it. It went so well, it was incredibly fun to do, uh, with lots of spinners join in, and even people who didn't spin but were knitting with handspun. So the whole point of this year-long event, challenge, whatever you want to call it, make-along, is to spin your fibre, your fluff, and then turn it into knitted objects or crocheted objects or woven objects, so stuff. So you're going to turn your fibre fluff into yarn and then you're going to turn that yarn into a finished product, a finished stuff thing. So fluff to stuff. That's where the name came from because it sounds a lot more fun and it rolls off the tongue a lot easier and it's a little bit easier to say than smell every time so the name has officially changed from spin and make along to fluff to stuff and we're gone with fluff to stuff 2021 we have an instagram page um, which is just fluff to stuff 2021 we have a ravelry page which is <laughs> you guessed it fluff to stuff 2021 but that's where we are right now so you can join us on um, Instagram and in the Ravelry group to stay informed with everything that's going on. We're going to have everything, um, all the important information is going to be available on both places. And um, this video as well is going to be a source of information for those who A, um, can't access the Ravelry group to find out what the rules are, etc. And or for those who just prefer to hear the information rather than read it. And I'm going to have timestamps in the description box below for where you can skip to for the different sections of this uh, video because I imagine it's going to be fairly long by the end of it. So we have this beginning bit which is just the general introduction. Um, then next up we're going to have the rules segment. Then we're going to have an about us segment which is just going to be a little bit on um, where you're going to get to hear from each of us hosts, each of us as the hosts of this year long event and a bit more about our history, not too much, just a little bit, and what we're hoping to get out of this whole event. Then there's going to be a segment about our monthly Zoom nights, which we're going to have, which is going to be so much fun, and we're going to have special guests for those Zoom nights, even more exciting. Then we'll have a section about um, Tour de Fleece, which is happening later this year, and then prizes, and then finally just some last little bits to round out the, um, the video, I almost said email, <laughs> round out the video at the end. Okay, so that's our general uh, information to begin with at the beginning. One thing I will say, links for everything that we talk about will be in the description box below this video. So there'll be links to the Instagram page, the Ravelry page, to all of our individual pages and YouTube channels as the hosts, because we all have Ravelry, Instagram and YouTube for ourselves as our, from our channels and um, there'll be links to the Zoom events, there'll be information about the Zoom events. Um, I'll even have a description of the rules and everything below in the description box for anyone who can't access Ravelry as well. So literally everything that we know right now will be linked below this video for you. I'll see you in the next bit. So let's go over the rules for the uh, event for this year, for Fluff to Stuff. So there's not really a huge amount of rules at all, but there are some rules in place just to, so we have some sort of structure to go with. So rule uh, for rules for the fluff, so the spinning portion. You must be a member of the Fluff to Stuff Ravelry group if you can access Ravelry. Um, the idea is that you spin yarn for a project that you want to make. So we're trying to encourage intentional spinning where possible. 
Um, this can be for any type of project, so there's no requirements that you have to spin X amount of fiber or you have to produce X amount of yarn or anything like that. You can spin whatever you want, but the idea is to be somewhat intentional with the process and to decide in advance if you're spinning something specific, try to have an idea of what you want that to be. It's fine if you change your mind, it's fine if the finished spin didn't turn out how you wanted and you decide to do something else. This rule is more just a, um, it's not so much a strict rule, it's more of a here's something to think about when you're spinning sort of thing. Rule number two, sorry, rule number three, um, you can use a wheel or a spindle or any other method that you can come up with to spin yarn to take part. There's no requirement that you have to have a wheel in order to take part or anything, none of that. Um, rule number four, as I said before, there's no minimum amount you need to spin. This is meant to only constitute whatever is a challenge for you. So this again comes back to your method, also how experienced you are. Like someone who's a more experienced spinner might be like, I want to spin a fingering weight sweater quantity of yarn, of a three ply fingering weight sweater quantity of yarn. That might be a challenge for them. However, for someone who's a newer spinner uh, might be like, you know what? I just want to spin enough yarn to make a hat that for me constitutes a challenge and that's what I'm going to challenge myself to do. So there's no requirement for how much you need to spin or what weight of yarn you need to spin or even that it needs to be consistent. You can do art yarn if you'd like. Whatever is fine. It's just whatever constitutes a challenge for you. Um, rule number five, you can spin for any kind of project as I mentioned, knitting, crochet, weaving, anything else you can think of, <laughs> it's fine. Um, works in progress are allowed, so if you if you have already started something or you want to start something before the official launch of Fluff to Stuff, then you can as well. Just use your own discretion as to whether or not you feel um, it's appropriate to enter in as a as a entry to be considered for prizes. Just again to keep things fair. Um, rules for the stuff for the making portion. There's only five rules for this. One, you must be a member of um of the group again as like i said if you can on if you can access ravelry you'll need to be a member of the group the idea is that you make a project from the yarn that you've spun in the spinning segment however you can use existing hand spun as well like, especially if you're not a spinner and you want to take part then um you can use hand spun that you've purchased or been given to you as a gift or anything like that um three you must use hand spun for the project you make there again, if you're not a spinner, you can use hand spun that you've purchased or was gifted to you. Um, four, again, there's no requirement for a minimum amount that you need to use in order to qualify for entry. And five, there's no minimum project size you need to make to qualify for entry either. So essentially, like I said, the rules are really open. It's more just to give you just a guideline of what to do and where to go with it. Um, you if you not if you're entering on Ravelry there are there's a specific thread for spinning and a specific thread for the making as well we're going to be drawing prizes throughout the year and again Grace is going to talk a bit more about that later but um on Instagram we're going to have a hashtag as well so you can if you can't access Ravelry or even if you can but if you also want to enter via Instagram then you can use the Instagram hashtag which is hashtag fluff to stuff 2021 surprise surprise <laughs> um but that will also be in the description box below so yeah like I said it's pretty open you can do whatever you like um in that regard I'm still trying to plan what my um what my projects are going to be for fluff this stuff right now but um but yeah i'll talk more about that in the next section but i think that's it for the general rules um we're gonna have all the information about the rules and stuff there's a dedicated thread for the rules on the ravelry page where you can if you have any questions about anything on there you can leave a comment um below that post in ravelry or you can ask a question over on instagram i'll also link our specific um, email address for this event so if you wanted to email us you can as well I'm sure someone one of us will get back to you as soon as we can okay so the about us section um, I guess I'll start my name is Mina like I said I'm known online everywhere as knitting expat you can find me on Instagram as knitting expat on Ravelry you can find me as Mina Philip and you can find my designs I design knitwear patterns and sell them on Ravelry as knitting expat designs I also have just started a pay hip store for my designs, for my newer designs that are coming out. I 
need to go back and upload all my existing designs on there but that's going to take some time um, and that can be found at um, payhip.com forward slash knitting expat I believe yep I'll have that link below and I also have an Etsy shop where I also have some of my patterns on there I'm kind of shifting from Etsy to payhip for um, pattern sales but I also sell other things on Etsy as well my Etsy shop is Mina Makes which will also be linked down below I am a knitter first I think it's probably the best way to describe it I'm a knitter first then I became a spinner a couple of years ago at the end of 2018 is when I got my spinning wheel and that's kind of when I fell down the rabbit hole of spinning and as of early 2020 when we first went into lockdown with Covid I delved into uh, watercoloring as well so I now do three things I do knitting spinning and watercoloring those are my main um, hobbies of choice as it were and I'm really looking forward to delving back deep into the spinning world this year so um, like I said earlier I think I am planning I'm still planning what my projects are going to be for fluff to stuff this year but once I have a few ideas in hand I think I'm going to film a separate video for my channel just talking through some of my plans and thoughts about what I want to do as you know some of my projects for this year so be sure to stick around for that i look forward to seeing you guys over in the zoom events hopefully sometime during this year we're going to be having monthly zoom events but mars is going to tell us more about that in a little bit and uh yeah i hope to see you guys soon all right take care bye hello spinning friends it's mars here i am hey brownberry online everywhere youtube ravelry instagram I'm so happy to have this chance to introduce the Fluff to Stuff 2021 Spin and Make Along with my friends Mina and Grace. I am a maker living in South Florida. My current craft obsessions are knitting, crochet, spinning, and a little bit of sewing. It's a very exciting thought that this year I'll be spending more time with you and with Fiber. I hope that you will join us each month, set goals for yourself, uh, do what I do. Play in your stash. Figure out new ways to combine fibers. I can't wait to see what you'll make. I have been spinning for about three years and I still have so much to learn. I have found a lot of great tutorials and good advice online. So I hope we can do that for each other as we collaborate. Feel free to jump in on our monthly meetings. I'm sure Mina will have given you all the important information and guidelines for this make along. And I look forward to this adventure with you. Find me everywhere as Hey Brownberry and I can't wait to see what you spin. Hello, my name is Grace and I'm one of your three hosts uh, running the Fluff to Stuff 2021 challenge, which is encouraging everyone to use their fluff and turn it into stuff. I have a problem with the stuff part, which is why I am here for it. No problem with the fluff part. Mm. <laughs> so who am I? Um, well, I am Grace. I am living in Ireland and um, I am fascinated with fluff. I'm fascinated with wool specifically. I really love wool and I also have a keen interest in plant-based fibres as well. Um, uh, so I absolutely don't know what I'm doing. I am a... <laughs> I've been spinning for about four, four years, four-ish years and um, I think my gift is just trying it and seeing if it works. And then if it doesn't work, then that's also totally fine. Um, <laughs> so I'm here to encourage you to give it a go, even though you might be awful at it at the start, but then you get better. And these are my most recent spins. They were very relaxing, chilling out spins. And I think they're pretty good. Um, I don't think too hard about it. I love the process of spinning. And you can hear more about um, my journey of how I became a spinner by accident um, in our first ever Zoom session. Uh, we're gonna be hosting these sessions once a month to kind of keep up momentum. We're gonna have some special guest speakers. I'm gonna be the first one, and that is going to be on the 31st of uh, January. And you can buy tickets at the link down below. And um, 
it's going to be quite exciting. So you can hear more about my journey on that Zoom. Uh, you can find me as Grace the Babbler on Instagram and my YouTube channel is if you're watching it on my channel, hi, you know it already. But if you're watching it on one of the other girls' channels, <laughs> my YouTube um, podcast is called Babbles Traveling Yarns. So welcome in. Have a great time. There's an awful lot to do. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. <laughs> and it's lovely to see you. Hey friends, Mars here to share with you the information about our monthly Zoom meetings. This year we want to encourage each other all year long by getting together each month to do some show and tell of our hand spun and our handmaids. And we'll be doing that on the Zoom platform. Zoom is an online platform that lets you join by way of a link into a meeting and we can gather as a group. You have options in the monthly Zoom meetings to join us using your video so we can see your face, um, audio only if you just like to speak but not be seen, and also every Zoom meeting includes the option to chat so we can type to each other in there as well. We will have these meetings at the end of each month starting on January 31st, running all the way through to the end of November. The meetings will take place either on Saturday or Sunday at the end of the month, and times and dates will be posted. Join our Ravelry group to get that information, or join our Instagram account where you'll see the published date for that month's meeting, and you'll be alerted when tickets go on sale for these monthly meetings. Many of you may have already been part of a Zoom meeting and know how it operates, what we'd like to do this year is put a number of guests in each meeting. Right now we're thinking about 30 guests per Zoom meeting, along with us, the moderators, and one special guest each month. Your ticket cost for each meeting will be posted and a link to purchase those tickets will be published. Our special guests will look forward to meeting with all of you. They will be answering your questions and sharing what they're working on as well. Again, join the Ravelry group, join the Instagram account. We'll be posting information there about these monthly Zoom meetings. We will also make available information for those of you who might be new to Zoom. You do not need to register for a Zoom account to join the monthly meetings. If you're going to participate, all you will need is the registration link that you get with the purchase of your ticket. We have put some more information in the Ravelry group for new users of Zoom if you just want to get used to using it. And um, feel free to go there and check that out. As usual, as information comes out, if we need to update you, we certainly will do that. We really would encourage you to join the monthly Zoom meeting if you can as a way to keep us all motivated throughout the year. We'll see you there. Thank you, Mars, for all that information about the Zoom events. They sound like they're going to be so much fun and I cannot wait. Um, so our first Zoom event is actually going to be not this coming weekend, but next weekend, which is really exciting. And um, one thing I did, I did want to add a couple of things uh, to the information that Mars gave. First of all, that the money that we raise through the ticketed, the, the ticketed Zoom nights um, are going to be put back towards Fluff to Stuff in terms of covering admin fees for running the events and um, costs for posting out prizes at the end and throughout the event as well. So um, that's what the money being raised is going to be put towards. The other thing that I wanted to talk about, we're going to be having special guests at each of our Zoom events, which Mars mentioned. Uh, but I wanted to add to that, that the fibre artists and creators that we've invited are mostly going to be from the BIPOC community. So people who identify as being black, indigenous or a person of colour, um, they are going to make up the majority of the people that we've invited for our um, monthly events, which is really exciting and we cannot wait to highlight and share their work um, within the community. I hope you will enjoy joining us in these Zoom events and, and yeah. One thing I'm really excited about this year is the Tour de Fleece. So as we have this long, this long kind of um, event that's happening throughout the year, I think it'd be a great opportunity to get a, a team together during Tour de Fleece. 
Tour de Fleece is an event that's run alongside Tour de France every year because it's all wheels, isn't it? And uh, we can challenge ourselves to personal goals, personal challenges during this, um, I think it's like a month, like it's three weeks long or something like that. And then during certain times of it, there's also challenge days. So if you want to challenge yourself to spin something you're not used to or spin a different way, maybe try a long draw for the first time, something like that. It's just a really fun event internationally all around. It's held on on um, Ravelry I think most of the time so we are going to have a, um, a Tour de Fleece group and also we're going to be doing spot prizes throughout Tour de Fleece as well if you're part of our Fluff to Stuff 2021 team so look out for that and uh, that's going to be coming up probably in the summertime we'll organize that a bit closer to the time and I'm sure we'll chat about it in the zooms anyway so we've decided to pull um, kind of spot prizes every three months. So the first is going to be in April. Then in, the second one is going to be in June. And then the third one is going to be in October. So these are going to be, um, all three of us are going to have prizes ourselves. And uh, we're going to be choosing from both Ravelry threads and Instagram thread and the Instagram hashtag. So again, just the Ravelry group is Fluff to Stuff 2021. And there's going to be um, threads in there that you can enter and you can find all the rules on how to enter for prizes in there. And on Instagram, you just have to use the hashtag Fluff to Stuff 2021 and we'll select them at different parts of the year. So um, we also are going to have a final kind of end of the year blowout um, in uh, at the end of November. We're going to have like a wrap party. So um, and then during December, we're going to pull prizes, each of us individually, and they're going to be shipped out in January. So these are for like, I, you know, it might be some someone who's spun the most or has you know, done something super impressive or just randomly as well. We might just throw, throw together whatever prizes we have. Um, so there's going to be huge opportunities to win prizes throughout the year to keep you motivated. Um, and if you if you yourself would like to donate something, would you like to donate um, anything at all to the prize pot, please do contact the um, either on Ravelry or on the Instagram uh, profile profile please do and uh, we'd love to support and promote your products if uh if it's anything to do with spinning so um i hope that you uh join us i hope that it'll be a lot of fun and i can't wait to see you on the first zoom so if you are still here thank you for sticking around i hope you've enjoyed this video so far and that it's been somewhat informative and yeah I just wanted to round out really quickly by saying thank you again so much for your support in the past and currently and going forward for for this event i have every hope that this will be successful and that everyone will enjoy it and it will just be lots and lots of fun another idea that we had as um, co-hosts that we were considering um, offering at some point during this year won't be available immediately but we're thinking about producing um or offering the option to get some like merch type um, products, um, mugs maybe, or something along those lines. I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna do that yet, but just wanted to gauge sort of interest levels and something like that. Would you guys be interested in having sort of fluff to stuff related merch um, or products in general, maybe like a tea towel or mugs or, um, I don't know notebooks maybe stuff like that um that'd be yeah we're i'd be interested to hear if you have any thoughts on that if that's something you'd be interested in i think at the moment we're considering if we do it we'll go through a site something like redbubble or society six where it's kind of like a print on demand service so we would upload the design and then you guys would pick what product you want it on and order it directly that way us as the hosts as people individuals in general we won't have to be dealing with um storing stock or ordering stock and having to store it somewhere and then dealing with the postage and packing and dealing potentially with international postage which could be expensive going through a site like redbubble or society six means that as you know they handle all of that side of things and you guys get a better deal in terms of postage and packaging and stuff like that not being overpriced I hope <laughs> anyway that's just a little idea that we were mulling over and i was curious as to what you guys think about it anyway thank you so much for joining us i hope you're excited for um 
the I almost said spin and make along for Fluff the Stuff 2021 and I look forward to seeing some of you over at the Zoom event, the launch Zoom event on the 31st. Alright, so if you have any questions from anything that I've said or any of the other ladies have said, please let us know in the comments below and we will be sure to get back to you as soon as we can.